sweetians welcome back to Zweetieville if you're new to my channel welcome to Zweetieville I am Zweetie Pie and today I am back with another mod with me so when I started this we started with um, basic mods that I have to have in my game so I listed quite a few there's still a few more that I refuse to go without and as we go through this I'll, I'll kind of explain why so the first one, as you can see I have up, is the OMSP shelf. If you don't have this yet and you like to clutter, you're doing it the hard way. This shelf really saves a ton of time. It's awesome. You can put about anything on it. You can put it anywhere. You can leave it in your build because there's an invisible swatch, but then you're flagged with CC. I don't do that. I use the red one. I do it more like this. I can place everything and then remove the shelf and I'm good to go. And I never flagged with CC because if you're flagged with CC, it's a lot harder to find you. But you just download it here. It's all really good. I do have a thing that shows you how I download everything. I'm not going to be downloading these today because I already have them all in my game right now. So I'm just pretty much going to show you what I have in the sites. And I'll have them all linked down below in my description for you. So if you want any of these as well, you can go and get them just as easy as I have. Um, so that is the OMSP shelf. And if you've seen any of my builds, you would know that I clutter like crazy. So this is the Sims 4 online gallery, and it's always on trending. I clicked browse before I got you here, sorry. Um, if you want to find me for any reason, you can put an EAID, and you can see I've done this already. Once you do it once, it'll do this. You put me in and it can't find me. I don't know why. So everything I put up on the gallery, I use hashtags. So the hashtag is there, Zweetieville. I take off Maxis Curated and I say search. Oh yeah, I gotta sign in. Be right back. Okay, sorry, I am back. And as you can see, it's loading, loading. It should bring me up now. Yep, here's me. So this is everything I currently have on my gallery. This is one of my popular builds right now. Um, I do have some more current ones up on here and I actually have um, a few Sims. I have a lot more in my own gallery. I'm gonna be putting them up here. So just hang tight, you can see them all. Um, I'm just getting good at this gallery thing. So if you want my gallery, that is how to find me. I would leave a whole long search thing, but it's way easier to just show you. But like I clutter my builds quite a bit and that shelf is the best. Okay, the next thing I refuse to go without, you can get right here um, by Catalina underscore 45. It is a very, very old mod. However, it still works in my game. If you watch any of my LPs on my um, YouTube channel or when I stream, you will notice my Sims hardly ever play on their phones. They do occasionally on their own, but most of the time they don't ever touch it. And that is due to this. It, Like I said, it's very old. It has not been updated in a long time. Somebody else is updating it for them um, now. So, but you just put it in under your mod folder and it slows down the phone interactions so if you don't want your sims playing on the phones all the time and i know in solani they play with them crazy and in the magic realm they play crazy there too so for the realm of magic i don't know why but those two are extremely worse um than anyone else so this godsend will not live without this it has never broke my game i just update it and go um, the next one I do, which, you know, is kind of halfway, not so good now, but always has been in the past, is the Random Traits and Aspirations by Grey Curse. Um, she makes some wonderful stuff, or he, I don't know, sorry. Um, and I used to use this all the time, but now that we have the Randomize the Traits in Cass, um, 
it helps but this will fix the rest for like when you're aging them up with a birthday cake they will automatically get assigned a random trait because I know me when I play I pick certain things because I've already done it a million times. I know how to work with it. I'm comfortable. I like it. Whatever be the case. So if you're trying to spice up your life and you don't want that and you just want to see how it goes, this is really great because they'll get random traits. They'll get the random aspirations, which the Sims 4 doesn't have yet, as you age them up with the birthday cake. Now, some people in the comments have stated that it's broken here lately. Um... I haven't had a chance to age up any of my kids yet. I'm getting ready to get to that part in the Sims 4 um, LPs that I have. So I will know if it's working or not. But it was working the last time I had to age someone up and stuff. And it was great. So I'm going to say it's working right now. But some other people say it's not. So I love this just for that. It changes life very well. And for your LPs, it's really good because getting out of your norm is hard another thing i keep in my game some people might call me crazy is the juice blender by plastic box um i really like this i wish the sims 4 would come out with something like this we have the coffee machine we have an espresso machine and the coffee bean grinder and everything else but what about those people who start their mornings off with a smoothie they don't drink all that i don't drink coffee I'm not a coffee person. I'm a Pepsi person. Pepsi, sponsor me. <laughs> no, just joking. But I drink Pepsi. I don't drink coffee. So I get my caffeine in another way. I like the smell of coffee. I just never could get the taste of coffee. Um, so I like to keep this in my game for my more fit family sims. And if you're watching my LPs right now, my not so berry the gray generation he's in this fit thing and he has this on his counter he doesn't use it as much as i like him to and he's gained some weight so he's getting ready to start using it some more but they've all went through their having the baby moments and everything's just been crazy and ugh, i have i've had a task with that one so this is coming back more in play and i like to use this for those types of family because it gives you that realism back in the game that since four just really lacks right now and i wish ea would implement something just this simple i mean you harvest the garden stuff, you put it in, and you can get it. I mean, if you don't harvest tomatoes, you can't make tomato juice. So, I honestly really like it because I would be more inclined to have more garden things if I could use this more often. Um, the next one I use is by Scarlet's Mod, and I have linked this page down below. So, you can see all the mods that she makes because she makes some really great mods and i'm gonna say she because i see a sim girl picture so i'm assuming this is a female um but i do the um homework mod and let me find it here homework tweaks <laughs> da, 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 yeah that's it so let me open this it should be the right one Yep, so this is it. So there are several different flavors of this. I honestly think it takes so long for the homework in The Sims 4. It's ridiculous. They shouldn't have made it that long. I mean, I understand some people do take a long time, but for the most part, no. It should be like an average and it shouldn't be like hours on end because literally all they do is go to school come home, do homework, eat dinner, go to bed, get up, repeat. It's too much. There's no time for anything else. So I do the faster homework. I do the prefer a desk because I kind of like that much better. And for faster homework, you can get down to 10 minutes, 25 minutes, and 50 minutes. I do 50 minutes because like I said, I think The Sims 4 is just too slow. I don't want 10 minutes and done. That's not realistic to me in my game so I do 50 minutes but you can prefer to do whatever and then she has them broken all down and tells you what to pick for what you want if you want the different flavors which one you want and stuff so it really is great um it has all the listings to it and you know she has the better um it will go off of um Little Miss Sam's better on Thomas homework and things like that so it has this all here and you just pick and go this one right here is the one I have, the Scarlet Homework Faster 50 Minute 
Um, no, right here. Preferred desk. I think it's this one. Sorry. Keep forgetting the preferred desk. But this is a great mod. Um, it helps just a little bit, but not a ton. And it makes it just more realistic to me. Um, the next thing, if you follow me on Twitter or anything like that, um, or if you've listened to me, I've had a lot of hard times lately over the last three months. Life hasn't been too good to me. And I've had a lot of health issues and I'm currently out of work having to deal with them. But unfortunately, just because I'm out of work doesn't mean I'm not out of the hospital most of the time. So I spend most of my time in the hospital or under restrictions to where I'm not allowed to play The Sims because it's stimulating too much in my brain. And I can't watch TV. I can't do this. I can't do this. So doing what I'm doing right now is against my rules. So hi. I'm nice to see you. Shh. Um, but on my good days when I'm feeling better, I like to spend an hour or two um, doing a little bit of what I love to do because I love doing this. And just not having it is like so hard on me. So what I have found that's really great is I'm having like... They don't want to call them seizures, but I'm having seizure-like issues. Never had seizures before in my life, but I'm continuing to have them. So because my doctor thinks the Sims might be escalating that issue because of the graphics and things like that, in order for me to play and make my doctors happy, I have come up with this little thing here. So I use Teen Moon, and I use three of her things. I use the darker world screen right here which is really great so like once again if you watch me you will see these um i use the darker purple here and like purple is my favorite color so like that's just totally great i can do that so i don't have that bright blue screen i have this one here almost went this but when i saw purple i was like nope that's my jam that's where i'm going and then i have the darker launcher here so once my game loads it's not bright it's not over faced at me so it won't stimulate too much um, it just calms all that down and i have this one here so i do like them it really helps and then just because i like am crazy and i'm old and like i have done the sims for like ever um do you need the king and he has a bunch of stuff listed this is where i put you guys um, just on his tumblr right here so you can see some of the other things in case you're interested I like to do that um, but if you go on down ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, right here I have his classic icons and now he has it with the no banner which I like that so you know when they changed for the rebranding I didn't like how they changed the colors of the things but these are adorable I love these these are cute I can handle that and like the plum bob okay you know you want to change it I don't really like you changing it but girls knock it off but um you know you just get adjusted to it but these you know when you're searching for things in the menu I really hate that they changed it all the same color it sucks it's hard to find I was already adjusted to this I loved this I wish it would have continued these are just so flat so boring I mean you look at it and like, looks the same, looks the same, looks the same, looks the same. My husband's like, no, it's a different picture. I'm like, no, it just looks the same. It's like, oh, take this out, plug this in, done. It was just like lazy to me in my opinion. Sorry, but I like them. So just because I want to, I downloaded this one with it. Not for any seizure reasons, but just because I really like to. And I'm already got so much else. So why not one more thing, right? So I do use this as well. And he has some really great stuff. So... I hope this time you guys have gotten some good stuff off of me and I will be doing a few more of these or we're not done yet. So until next time, I hope all my Zweetians out there are having a Zweetylicious day. Bye!